with respect to uh, the application of technology uh, in this, uh, let's call it the shale revolution that we've we've discussed earlier, um, it's it's been said that it's you know this revolution has come about very much as as part of a technological evolution in two ways. Uh, one is in the the advent of uh, more sophisticated directional drilling or horizontal drilling, which means anything other than a vertical well. And the other is in the, the advance in, in the stimulation of the reservoir, which includes, uh, for our purposes of our discussion, what we call hydro, hydraulic fracturing or, or fracking of the reservoir. Uh, with respect to directional drilling, I think one of the great advances has been in the evolution of materials and in better steel and more flexible and stronger steel that could be used to not only to drill deviated wells or horizontal wells, but um, to case them and, and, and provide uh, the means for production with, with these materials. Um, secondly, the, the advent of, of high hydraulic fracturing uh, is becoming more and more safe, more and more environmentally doable, shall we say. Technology is going to continue to evolve. Uh, I think this is a part of, of the future evolution uh, of our industry as well. With respect to West Newfoundland, um, directional drilling and uh, you know, extended reach drilling and fracking stimulation will be a large part of the industry. Uh, and I think this is very exciting for us because in this continuous resource that we identify as the Greenpoint Shale Play, it means that we, we can uh, plan many future wells in a very systematic faction, uh, fashion. It becomes a, a bit like a manufacturing or a, a farming operation. And that to me points to a future where you have a lot of education, a lot of development of technology, and a lot of local industry and local employment going into the development of this resource.